So welcome or welcome back to BTAID. Let's get started working on adding the muzzle flash to our weapon firing which we did in the last video. So I'm just going to add this infinity blade effects which has that muzzle effect that we want on our weapons. This is the pack that we are going to use for a few more things like the kill shots and stuff like that and when you fire a weapon on the wall, putting a mark on the wall, things like that and we are going to use this for that. Um, you can use any pack because we will be putting the particle effect as in variable. So if you want, you can use any pack. This is just um, your choice because um, many of you may have bought a pack and want to use that. So that's a variable completely up to you. So let's get the video started. So let's see the pack that we just added. That is um, the weapon pack. It should be in the infinity uh, something folder. Yeah, infinity blade effects and effects. Then let's go to, yeah, I think it's called uh, muzzle or something like that. One sec. Fire. Shit, so many. F nope, not this one. Muzzle maybe. Yeah, so it's named Backpack Muzzle, so that's the name of the mesh or the effect. Now let's get back to coding and what we do best. So let's add a new U function or before that let's go to our server shoot weapon function and um, here before, before all the firing thing happens, before we calculate the start location, we will check if this has a valid weapon reference and that we will do by casting to the weapon class. So we will get the a base weapon, a pointer reference to the weapon ref and then we will cast to that weapon. So to cast, it's pretty simple in the first, um, these silos will go the a base weapon and in the brackets will go the reference of the weapon that is the equipped item. Now if the weapon reference is valid, we will get the particle from the weapon itself. Now we don't have a new property for the weapon particle system as of now. So we will just create a new variable for that, which will be a new property blueprint read, write, And then edit anywhere and a category with battle royale course item. Oh shit, yeah. Battle royale course and item. Now let's go and create a property that is you particle system. Again, a pointer reference to that particle itself, particle to spawn, or maybe a muzzle particle and stuff like that. Muzzle particle is, sounds a little bit good. So let's go here. And then we will just, we need to multicast the weapon shoot so all the clients can see. So for that, we need to create a new U property um, somewhere here. Let's create a new U property. Sorry, I'm really sorry. It, it has to be a new U function. So we will do it here u function net multicast and unreliable because even if we miss a miss one or two shots it's okay we don't need to get a call back on each uh, call and void multicast shoot weapon and then we will pass the reference of the part uh, particle to spawn that the multicast operator will be spawning let's create a generate definition for that and here we will just check um, or before that let's just call the weapon oh no not this we need to call multicast shoot weapon. Um, where is it? Yeah, here, shoot weapon and we will pass the weapon reference and we will get the particle from there. Now here we will just check if the particle reference is valid or not. And if it is valid, then we will just get the U gameplay statistics. U gameplay statistics. And um, spawn emitter attached and this will have the particle to spawn that is the reference of the uh, item to spawn then the location which will we will get the attached to component that is the skeletal mesh and the muzzle reference um just just keep in mind that these names that you see attach point name these are just helper by rider these are not the things that i type only copy the things that I, or see the things that i type um, because rider is helping us with the function name so basically f vector has a location and that's what it's telling me so for the scale, we will just put the scale to be very small. That is 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, all the three axes um, because one is pretty huge for that muzzle flash to happen. 
and then after this we will just get uh, how do we want to spawn with that is the e attach location e attach location should be relative keep relative offset and lastly we will just pass in uh, if we want to auto destroy it or not yes we need to auto destroy it after that and lastly just make it to auto release as the pool method now that said um, this should basically work and uh, but we also need to call this on the server because this is only getting a call on the call the clients so but before that let's go and test this out So the engine is open let's go to our rifle 3 and scroll down and you will find the items and here you will find the muzzle prep uh muzzle mu sorry muzzle particles and here select the muzzle um shit i forgot the name again yaar. one sec so it's muzzle yeah um backpack muzzle flash yeah this one now let's go and test it out now this will not get called on the server as of now we got a crash but don't worry in the next video we will be fixing the crash issues that you guys get and even the ones that i get so let's go and just quickly test uh, play let's go and pick this weapon up now you will see the clients are firing and that shows up on the client but the server cannot see the muzzle flash now the reason is basically the net multicast is getting executed on all the clients because the communication is from the server to the clients and not uh, running on the server itself so what we need to do is it's a pretty simple thing we just need to make sure we call the function on the server itself also so let's um, you see that it's getting called on the clients but not on the server so to fix this we just go to our code and here um yeah here after we shoot the weapon on the here we will just call the same function on the client also so oh sorry on the server also so to do that we will just go back And here we just remove the particle check because we already know that we have the particle set now you can have the check there but um, it won't crash so copy this complete u gameplay statistics line and paste it under the shoot weapon logic now here you will see we get a red error that is the particle to spawn is not valid so we will replace it by the weapon reference and get the current particle that we have to get um, this should work let's build and test quickly let's run on the server shoot yeah it shows up on the server also now and looks good so even the shooting is now working um, with muzzle flash we have a lot of work for the weapons too till now but at least we have some part of it working now that is it for this video meet you in the next one thanks a lot for watching